Hello everyone. Now, this video is about my very first planning of the navigation flight. And this flight is still the very first navigation flight with an instructor. So I made this video to have something I can go back to and see how my first time looked like. So enjoy and remember if you're not into the flying it's gonna be super boring and if you are into flying it's still gonna be very boring but uh, this is what you have to do uh, if you want to sort of go for the trip. All right, enjoy! Okay, so we've got um, White Waltham and then we have a Point Whiskey which I believe is in here. Okay, so we're going to go from Point Whiskey from Point Whiskey we are going to Newbury and the Newbury I'm not quite sure exactly where I need to go but let's say in the middle of town roughly so we're gonna go in here and then from Whiskey uh, from the Newbury we need to go to Whitchurch which is here and I've been told we um, our route back will be the same. So we draw the line. We draw the line. Just gonna extend that line so it's easier to. Okay, so now we need to measure the distance. So the first distance from uh, Point Whiskey to Newbury, I will have. So 14 and a half, let's say. 14 and a half. And then between the Newbury and Whitchurch, we have, well, it's about 10 and a half. So it's roughly here. So it's 10 and a half. Okay, and now we need to find the truck. So to find the truck, we need to use this beautiful thing. So let's let's do this one first. So we put that in the middle of that line. I'm 
go on that line and we need to make sure we are parallel to these lines here. And now if we read we've got exactly 255. Five. 255. Go 255 and then going back we've got exactly so we in, in here we've got Exactly seven zero seven five zero seven five. Okay, and now we need to check the new bridge to which church. So we're gonna put that in here. And now we need to now we need to make sure that the uh, vertical lines are horizontal. Um, oh, they <laughs> need to make sure that the vertical lines are parallel and they are roughly like that. Okay. So now so from Witchurch to Newbury, our track is zero zero seven zero zero seven, and going back, I mean going from Newbury to Witchurch. That's one eight five six seven white. Oh, sorry, one eight seven. One eight seven. Okay. So, so this is our. This is our plan. Okay, so now we need to fill out the flight log. So I've already put the places I'm gonna go to and from. And uh, I'm gonna be flying PA-28. Now the, the wind, well actually, before I go to wind, our safety altitude, According to map is let me just make sure that this is visible. So my safety altitude on my route will be this is one thousand three hundred as so my safety altitude will be two thousand three hundred. So 2300. Okay, the altitude I will be flying at it will be 2000. Okay, and now from the chart I'm gonna read uh, my wind information so we are in here in that square here so at 2000 the wind is coming from 330 
so I'm gonna put 2000 and the wind is coming from 330 at 20 knots and we've got plus 8 okay so our truck our truck is from Whiskey to Newbury our truck is 255 from Newbury to Whitchurch our truck is 187 from Whitchurch to Newbury our truck is 007 and from Newbury to Whiskey our truck is 075 okay so now our heading will be so we need to take this a little uh, thing, very easy to use. Now we will be flying at 100 knots. So let me move this dot to 100, okay. So we're going at 100 knots and our wind is coming from 330 so we need to move this to 330 okay and the wind is 20 knots so we need to take away 20 knots so we're gonna put a dot at 80 here So now, so now from um, Whiskey to Newbury, our track is 255, so we need to go to 255. Okay, and that move. Uh, 10, 11, 12 degree. Now that moved 12 degree. So that means we need to go. Just one, let me just check this first. Hold on. Um, so if we fly in. St. Louis Blues. So if the wind coming from 330, that means that the wind is coming roughly this way. Okay. So if the new bray is 255, and the wind coming from that side that means that I need to be heading um, more towards this side so that means 25 to say I need to add so I need to add 12 degree and my speed my speed at the moment well it doesn't matter my speed okay so it's 12 degree so if I add 12 to 255 so it'll be 267 267 roughly and that Okay, let's go to 266. Yeah. Yeah, let's go 266. Okay. 266. So our heading 
our heading will be come on our heading will be 266 and uh, there is no variation so our magnetic heading will be 266 and our ground speed is 90 well like, like 93 let's call it 93 93 okay now from um, whiskey to Newbury the distance is I'll put that somewhere it's 14 14 and a half nautical miles let me just double check yes 14 14 and a half nautical miles so that will take me so 93 so in one hour I'm gonna do 93 oh come on 90 oh Jesus okay so this is 93 So in 60 minutes I'm going to do 93 miles and I want to do 14 and a half, 90 so 14 and a half is going to take me, well let's say 9 and a half minutes. So 9 and a half. Okay, so then we go to a Newbury to Witcham, and the Newbury to Witcham is 187, and so the 187. One eight seven. So we've got five six six degree, and we also adding six degree. Six degree, and we a uh, one eight seven. Now my brain doesn't work anymore. Seven, so we've got one nine three, right? And that changed slightly. So let's say one nine zero. One nine zero. Okay, one nine zero. So our heading is one nine zero. And there is a zero variation, so our magnetic heading is also one one nine zero. The, our ground speed now our ground speed here is actually quite high and is one uh, two, four, five, six, seven. okay so it's one one seven. 117 117 knots and from Newbury to Witcham or to, to uh, Witcher sorry uh, from from Newbury to Witchurch 
the distance is ten and a half miles. So that distance we are going to do in so ten so hundred seventeen. Okay. How do we find hundred seventeen? 117. So if I take this as a. No, this is 170. Okay, 117. 100. Okay, so that will be one. Ah, oh, come on. So that. That will be 100. 110. Come on. 110 and 117 okay so if this is 117 and it's 60 minutes 117 so 10 so 10 and a half will be 117 in 60 minutes 117 in 60 minute and we 60 minutes and we want 10 and a half miles so if i call hmm well, if i call this Ten and a half. So if I call this ten and a half, so therefore that value would have to be just what about no five. So if this is ten and a half, so that would be just over five minutes. Does that make sense? Yeah. So five. Yeah, yeah. Well, I put five and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, and now we are going back from which church to Newbury. So if we're going from Wichita to Newbury, then our heading is 007. 007. 007. So now, because we are going back, so we need to deduct this. So we are now... Eight. Let's call it eight degree, and we need to take away eight, so it will be like here. Uh, let's say. Yeah, let's do zero zero. One zero zero one variation zero, therefore magnetic heading is zero zero one, and the ground speed, the ground speed at this point is, well, let's call it eighty four, eighty four. 84 and we need to do 10 and a half miles so now we go the 60 to 84 okay so 
so now we got 84 miles we need to do 10 and a half So now we will be flying well, like a seven and a half minutes, and also that makes sense, seven and a half minutes. Okay, seven and a half minutes. So now from Newbury to Whiskey, to Point Whiskey. So we need to go from uh, 075, 075. Okay, so 075, now I will call this, it was like one and a half, Let, let's call it one, so 11, let's call it 11, 11 and we need to take away, 1175, so let's say, but that has moved. So I will probably go like that. So six. Um, so zero six nine. I'll put zero six nine. Zero six nine. Variation zero. Magnetic headings will be zero six nine. And our ground speed at this point will be. Uh, 100 at uh, 106 106 and we're going to do a 14 and a half miles and that will take us so 106 miles we are going to do in 60 minutes so 100 and six will be here so we've got 100 106 we do in 60 minutes so 14 and a half so let's do here 14 and a half we should do with eight and a half minutes yes eight and a half yeah and it makes sense eight and a half and it makes sense because as we're going back we're flying faster than we were coming in so it will be a, a, a one minute faster okay now the ETA and uh, obviously ATA we're gonna put once uh, once we're in the air um, because we are counting this journey from Point Whiskey, which is, uh, no, which we need to get there first. So we're gonna leave that uh, for the flights. And now the observations and checkpoints. This is our Point Whiskey. And from that point, we will be going straight to Newbury. So what I need to find is I uh, some form of um, reference points as I'm flying along so I can keep checking whether I am in uh, roughly area I'm supposed to be. So my first uh, reference would be, I guess, this crossing road here. That would be kind of on the way. Even if I will be sort of around, I should be able to spot that. So that would be my first point. As I am flying along... Um, Maybe this. Okay, let me see. It's like a little town. Or maybe this. Um, whatever that is, it's like sort of building depot or something. 
so yes uh, just thinking now theoretically well that that could be on my left hand side yeah I will mark this as my point like as, as my reference point and then the next one it could be Woolhampton and then if I can see also Upper Bucklebury so I would need to fly between those two so yes I think that's what I need to pay attention to so then once I get to Newbury and it will be Newbury sort of center or, or perhaps yeah perhaps this park here and then from the Newbury I will have to go to which church which is here so now I will be traveling all the way down here so as I am flying all the way down here what should I quite sure now perhaps if I will be traveling in here I should be able to perhaps see that that junction here maybe let me see Yeah, so when I will be traveling, I will be traveling kind of along that road. What is this? Um, A34. So as I am flying all the way here, I should be... I should have the A34 on my right hand side pretty much all the way to the witch church so I guess that will be the the main point um, Perhaps I can. Perhaps I could indicate those two. Um, with a school or something here. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to keep uh, keep along um, A34. That should be fairly visible all the way uh, down to uh, Whitchurch. So that's what I'm gonna put in and obviously once I get here I'm gonna turn around and the route will be exactly the same so I will keep uh, A34 on my left all the way to the Newbury and then from Newbury we're gonna go right between the uh, Woolhampton and Upper Bucklebury and we're gonna travel, we're gonna uh, pass this uh, building um, uh, building shop because I think we're gonna fly almost over it and then we should be able to s well, to see the reading and and get to perhaps this roundabout I should be able to see the M for the, that junction go across 
uh, Reading two point whiskey. And then from that point, I'm gonna go all the way to the airfield. Okay, so this is what I've done in here. Now, I'm not quite sure whether this is the, the way um, I should do it, but I've indicated this is my point whiskey. So, from point whiskey, I will be, well, I'm planning to fly about two and a half minutes and I should get to the junction 12 on M4. And then I will follow the the route and then I should see in about four and a half minutes from uh, Point Whiskey I should be able to see this building much and uh, now I'm not quite sure whether I will be able to see it but it seems big enough so I hope I will see that so that will be four and a half minutes and then as I fly along I should get to this town now I think when I was looking on the Google map I think I will be going between the upper Buckleberry which is here and uh, and Woolhampton which is roughly here uh, so I'm not sure but certainly I will be able to notice the uh, the upper uh, Buckleberry so uh, to that town it should take me five and a half minutes and then from here um, obviously to the center of uh, of Newbury now as I will be leaving Newbury I know there is a I think it's a zoo now I didn't put that as my point uh, because I will be flying pretty much along A34 and uh, and I'm pretty sure I, I will be able to see A34 all the way uh, up to uh, Whitchurch and when I turn around again I will be traveling along the A34 up to Newbury and then across the route I've been I've been flying to so um, so now if I go to my chart I'm not sure whether that's uh, that's the way it's supposed to be done now as I am leaving a uh, point whiskey uh, yes point whiskey I should get to junction 12 on M4 um, it well I didn't put a time here I put the time on my map uh, because I'm not quite sure to be honest what the CP time is <laughs> yeah um, I guess this is the time uh, from whiskey to that point uh, but anyway it is five miles and then um, from point whiskey to building March and which I hope I should be able to see uh, it's about nine miles and upper uh, Buckleberry will be 11 miles and obviously from that I will get to Newbury now, as I will be going to the, um, as I will be going to the Woodchurch, uh, I will be going along A34. So I'm not quite sure uh, what distances I should put in there, unless I will find some other points which I can refer to. But other than that, I think. I should be able to see A34 all the way down uh, to Whitchurch and therefore I don't think I will need that. Uh, we'll turn around and we're going the same route. Now I'm not quite sure now uh, should I put my route back to uh, Point Whiskey because I'm not I mean although I can probably put distances from well Newbury let's say but the time I have absolutely no idea how long will it take me to turn around and stuff like that so I guess I'm gonna leave it uh, like that and then the next thing is the radius frequencies now I've put them here 
but I'm not really sure if these are correct. So if I go to my map, I'm just gonna make sure that this is all visible. Okay, so obviously um, White Waltham I've got in here, 1, 2, 2, 6, or 5. And then as we are going towards, um, well, Reading and further down, I think we will be under the Fambra West, which is 125250. But then as we go in down, well, the only thing which kind of makes sense for me is this one here, which is Poffam 129.805. But that I am not sure. So I'll just put that in there and see what what Dominic is gonna say uh, when we go flying. Okay, so now once this is all completed, the uh, the last thing I am going to do is to use my uh, sky demon even though I am not supposed to do that but I'm just going to do that for my uh, notum so yeah so I'm going to run through all the informations here make sure that there is nothing um, going on on my route and once uh, this is done I also use the, the sky demon just to roughly check um, whether everything what I've done on paper uh, kind of match uh, but but this is it other than that we are ready to fly Okay, so it's that easy, right? Uh, so I'm gonna make another video once I've done the flight and then I'm gonna discuss my own planning, what was wrong and anything else what my instructor pointed out. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Now if you can, please do subscribe, uh, it will help the channel to grow and hopefully there will be more videos like that. Well, maybe not exactly like that, but more interesting, of course. Alright, see you in the next one.